Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to an episode of NotAnalog.com. Today I'm in a different area, I decided to put myself in a different room to do this review. I thought something different, a little bit more cosy, a little bit more home-like. I've got a couch. Um, and one of the reasons I wanted to do that was I'm reviewing the Optus Home Zone. So for those of you who haven't heard of this product, it is basically a device that you'll put in your house to give you 3G coverage um, all over your house basically. I know a lot of people who live in uh, old homes or concrete homes or, or bunkers uh, where they don't receive coverage. So what Optus has come up with is a device that you can put inside your home which is like putting the antenna which you'd normally find out near the streets um, in your house. Now I've had this for just a couple of days. Um, it didn't take long to set up. I did have a couple of little bugs but I think it's because it's a trial unit so I'll give them some benefit of the doubt but uh, this product, and I'll show it to you, because we've already taken it out of the box. This is it here. Um, it looks a little bit like a surfboard. I don't surf, so actually, you know what, it's not a surfboard. Maybe like a little hotel. Um, but you know, it's similar to your router, which you would probably have at home already. And uh, on the back, so, so simple, a power club, plug, club, and a network outlet. I'm really excited by this device, hence the bad speech. Um, and a little up the symbol. Otherwise, there's nothing to it. Four little lights here. Um, now the lights just simply, indica simply indicate power, um, the at symbol for um, internet connectivity, uh, a little mobile phone which says if the mobile is being used on the device, and a tick basically saying it's all good. So I tell you, tell you a couple of things about it. Uh, you plug it in and you need to go online on the Home Zone website and activate the device. Now the reason you need to do that is because it needs to know where this device is stored because once your phone's connected to it, if you make emergency calls, it needs to correspond to an address. Normally when you make a call outside, it can sort of pinpoint your location at least. So it's really for emergencies. So you type in your address um, and you need to type in phone numbers that will be using this. Now the phones need to be uh, Optus phones. So Optus mobiles, Optus data cards, they will all work with the, uh, with the home zone. So up to 12, um, 12 phone numbers, so if you have friends who come over or relatives and things like that, add them into the home zone as well and they can make use of it. Uh, and then basically when you walk near the device or you walk inside your house, uh, you'll sort of notice that your phone sort of negotiates to another tower. And you would, if you watched your phone while you drive, you would notice it does that anyway. So when you walk into your home, it just the little arrows in the corner and then you, all of a sudden you've got full 3G coverage. Now, to sort of tell you my experience about the device, I used it at home and um, I was quite shocked. There's a lot of parts of my house which only got sort of 2G coverage. Not, not to say that that's bad, I could still make calls, but when I'm talking about using data, that's a real issue. So, my whole house was covered in five bars of 3G. Five bars. It didn't waver a single bar anywhere in my home. Every corner of the house that I went to, it was full 3G. It didn't. It was really weird. So yes, it gives you 3G coverage, but it gives you full 3G coverage. It's not even um, 3G with one bar or two bars. It's, it's five. So it's fully maxed out. And you know the benefit of that, obviously, is that if you do have um, wireless data cards or you um, you know using your phone to check Facebook or whatever you need to do, it's going to be quick. And it it's quick. Like I tried it out, and it's um, it's impressive. Um, and obviously when you make a call, the only thing that you notice when you're making a call is that it beeps twice in your ear um, before it starts ringing. And that kind of gives you an indication that you're using the home zone. Uh, the other indication that you're using it is you'll see a little mobile light will start flashing as well, so you'll know that it's actually in use. Um, otherwise, the main thing that you have to have obviously to get this running, you can't just plug this into power, sit on your bench at home and assume it's going to work. Um, I've said before that this needs to plug into your internet connection. Your internet connection needs to be like an ADSL or cable or fiber if you're that far ahead. Um, it's not dependent on whether you need to, be, you need to be with Optus for your internet line, which is really important. Um, so if you're with Telstra or TPG or somebody else for your home internet, that's not an issue. Um, you just plug it in, activate it online through the Home Zone website, type in your phone numbers, and it's away. So if you don't have ADSL at home um, and you rely on, say, wireless internet, this is not going to be a huge help for you. Um, so just keep that in mind. Now, a lot of the, when this first was announced, a lot of people were complaining, saying, why on earth should I have to pay for Optus's black spots, you know? Why is that my problem? Now, 
I, I understand that and I know that Optus is always working to improve the network, but I saw it in a way that, you know what, I save a lot of money by being with Optus. So, you know, $5 a month or whatever the, uh, the cost is, maybe it's not that bad, especially when you can help everyone in your household. Um, you know, say there's a family of five with five phones, that could be a pretty big help. Um, so I don't know, I mean, you tell me if it's a, if it's a real issue for you, but uh, I'll be interested to hear your thoughts. Now, I've got one of these to keep, um, which I'm really excited about, because it's actually a really, really good device. Um, so I don't think it's being, I don't think it's launched yet, but obviously when it does launch, check it out. Let me know what you guys think of it. Um, it's made a huge difference in my house. Um, so I, I'm quite happy with the product. Just to go over the specs again, 12 phones, around 30 meters in each direction of range. Um, just make sure I haven't missed anything on the box. Ba -ba -ba, more reliable data, yep. Um, better, vo better quality voice calls, yep. Um, oh, the requirements. The other requirement, obviously, yes, you need to have internet access, but it needs to have a minimum speed. So it needs to have, it requires 256K. Now, most, most home internet connections were probably above one and a half meg anyway. Um, so it's really if you've got a really, really old internet connection that this is going to be a problem. Um, if you do um, upgrade, might even save yourself some money. That's my biggest point. Otherwise, it is the simplest product to set up. Um, I did call support when I had my issues with it. They're actually very good. So from day one, I mean, this is product isn't even on the market yet. And from day one, the Optus support team already knows what they're doing with the product. So um, kudos. I mean, yeah, it, it does cost a little bit extra to get good coverage in your home, but you know, you've got to weigh up the pros and cons to that. And to me, this is a huge pro in my house. And uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, email me, find me on Twitter, Facebook, um, whatever it is, whatever your cool way is of communicating with people, try me. I'll see if I'm there. So thank you again.